Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics, and today we're going to take a look at Magnet Review. With many investigations, time is of the essence. Finding clues and flushing out leads becomes critical, especially when you're working with multiple teams or investigators on a case. For most, myself included, I relied on providing detectives and non-technical stakeholders standard reports they could browse through in reporting formats such as PDF, HTML, or Excel. However, many times, especially in cases that involved a lot of media or documents, these reports had to be shared with moving the reports to either CDs or USBs, then delivering those to the stakeholders, all of which came at a cost of slowing the investigation down and the need to continually purchase media to move these reports around too. Not to mention trying to get the USBs or drives back after the case agents had their reports also came at the expense of more time being wasted. I also heavily relied on Portable Case for distributing casework to examiners so they could assist in combing through potential evidence, bookmarking, and making notes on items of interest, but this too came at a cost of having to produce the Portable Case, then finding a means of distributing that to the investigators. All of this to say, time is wasted, evidence can get lost in transit, and you as the examiner have no way to really audit who all has access to that evidence and that report after you release it from the lab. That's why we've created Magnet Review. You can now securely share and collaborate on your digital evidence in a single platform from anywhere. So it's safe to say even the most non-technical individuals at your agency know how to use two things, email and a web browser, which is great since you can now access and distribute your cases easily with Review being a browser-based application. This is also great for geographically separated units. No more time being wasted having to drive or ship reports to your team for collaboration. This deployment really allows for centralized storage and review of your agency's casework, reports, and case notes. I'm gonna go ahead and log in to review so we can take a look at this interface. So once you've logged in, you're presented with your review dashboard, which provides quick access to your cases, as well as administrative access to things such as management for adding and managing your users, system management, as well as system analysis, which includes information around user sessions and audit logs on all your casework activity. Let's take a look at one of our cases. Examiners can now combine all of your digital evidence into one platform with Magnet Review. This alleviates having to teach investigators different platforms to analyze evidence and provides them one tool that they can familiarize themselves with. Cases can contain multiple pieces of evidence, as you can see with the CID fraud investigation here, where we have five evidence sources. And when I select that, you can see we have them all listed out here for easy review. Let's work on the Dashner investigation today. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Dashner. And here you can see we are working on a Windows endpoint. For those who are familiar with our artifact first approach here at Magnet, you'll recognize the layout of the navigation of this case very quickly. Let's take a look at the web related artifacts to start. While looking at the web related artifacts, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply select Chrome bookmark. Now, as you can see here, we have several bookmarks with a couple of them already identified with this green tag. When I go ahead and select one of these, I can see the artifact information where we have a URL, the added date, as well as the original item and the review item as well. On the right hand side, you can also see that we have a tag of potentially relevant being added to this artifact, as well as a comment being added that we need to investigate this URL further. So let's go ahead and I'm going to simply just copy out this file name. I'm going to navigate back to my evidence source. And for this, I'm just going to apply a global filter to so we can investigate this file name a little bit further with this case. So I'm going to simply open up search. I'm going to paste in my search term, hit search. And as you can see, we do have 14 hits, both from within email and web related that we can look into for this meth method dot text. I'm going to open up email, navigate to the email files. And here you can see we have several hits with the text that we searched on. Now, when I select the email, what's great about Magnet Review is we actually have a near native document review, which is great for investigators to get a you know accurate look and feel as to how a document would have been viewed by a user. And as we can see, we do have that hit of that URL. We have a new user for this case that we might need to investigate further. So let's go ahead and we have the ability to have case notepads available for each one of your cases. So I'm gonna expand this out and simply create a note here to investigate the link between Monica and our suspect Dashner further. Once I have my note added, I can go ahead and hit save and just collapse the notepad back down. 
Lastly, it's important to note that you can quickly build reports directly from review. So using the breadcrumbs at the top, I'm gonna to go back to my case. I'm going to go over to create and view reports. Here you can see we've already created several reports from this case, but I can simply create a new report or download a previous report. Once downloaded, we can take a look at the report. Here I've created a PDF document from Magnet Review. And we can scroll through this report to get an overview of the reporting details and the artifacts that we have marked for this report. So now that we're looking at our case, let's go ahead and discuss a little bit about the audit logging capabilities that we've built into Magnet Review. So initially, I'm going to go ahead and just create a quick report here. And the reason why I want to do this is I want to show what actually Magnet Review is capturing and how you can see this information. Because as an admin, you're able to view these audit logs to see you know, who did what and when they did that. You know, and the benefit here really just being, you know, being able to operate securely and transparently you know, across all of your uh, casework and as to who's doing what inside of your cases. So for this, you know what, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna hit download report on a report that I've already created here. And then I'm gonna simply navigate on over to the audit log capabilities. And since I am an admin uh, logged in here, I can see very quickly case data being downloaded, which case that was, the report ID that I can associate back to that. You can also, as I start scrolling down, you can see things such as system access for when I logged into the account. Keep going down here, you can see I did download this uh, report earlier as well along with uh, things like case interaction. So you can see we have Nicole admin who went in and created sorts and applied filters uh, to different cases. So this really helps with you know being able to show who's tagging what evidence, how it's being sorted, how they're filtering that evidence as well for uh, you to be able to show that information. Now from the magnet review case dashboard, let's talk a little bit more about the case overview and what we can do with that. So I'm going to go right back into the Dashner case that we've been looking at here. And on the right hand side here, you can see we have the view case overview button. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we get basic information such as the short and long descriptions if you want to put that information in about what case you're working. You can create custom tags for each one of your cases as well. And you also get a count uh, alongside of that. So you can monitor the tag counts based on what type of tag you are tagging information as well as you can see things like case managers and case members as well so maybe you want to assign specific case members to work on specific cases you can come in and add that privilege in here and you can also revoke that as well at any time so we can come in click on add case and maybe I want to go ahead and add Tim to this case so that he can work off of it so I can go ahead and hit add case member and now he has uh, access to come in and work off this case as well. And just as easy, I can come in and remove him from this case. Once again, the benefit here being able to operate securely, you're being able to give flexible role-based access controls to prevent you know, unauthorized actions being taken by different users and really to ensure that the workflow and processes and the SOPs that your agency have created are being followed. To learn more about Magnet Review, please visit our website at magnetforensics.com. Thanks. Have a great day.